we're going to be making a toy train as our project. Uh, this will be to review what kind of skills you have. So I will show you how it's done and you guys will have to design one yourselves that I will give you a dimensions drawing of. So this is just a reference train. The actual train you guys are going to be making will be a little bit different. So further ado, we're going to go through making just the, the front train, not the back a cart. So I'm going to leave this image up here. So it's going to be it's going to help me figure out how to draw it out. And yeah, so basically I want to do is start with the base, build up, and then I'll do all the chamfering and fillets at the end. Uh, so I'm going to use the base. I'm going to make this, let's say, an inch by. Actually, I'll make it by two two inches. Three quarters. Sorry, I'm trying to figure out what dimension exactly to use because it's kind of hard to get through using just visually what you're looking at. I'm in the rectangle command, so I can draw the rectangle, but I need to a D for dimensions at the bottom. You'll see it, uh, it says specify other corner point. If I do D for dimensions, I can actually put dimensions of it. So I look like 0.75 by 4 or 5 inches would work perfectly. I put it 5 inches. So I type in D, enter. Type in 5. 5 is actual the length, which is the bottom. So it's up to right. Click enter. And the width is actually up and down. So that's actually 0.75. I'm using 0.75 because that's a standard thickness of uh, a piece of wood and the last point is asking which location I want to put on the screen I place it there by clicking left so I have that the next step is build these the blue piece right here to do that I'll do the same thing uh, space and be like and get an estimate size and that looks good so that's one and a actually I'll do one and a quarter by two and a half so D enter one point oops, one point two five by two and a half and see it's asking me where to place it I place it here and then I move it M space this point to this point. Make sure your O snap is on. That way you can snap it on perfectly. The next step is to put that little cap up here. And that's that would be about two inches by maybe a half inch. So D again. Two enter by half. Click place it and move it and enter. Move it over. So I have something like this. Again, I can modify as I go. So I can actually stretch it right now. Use my stretch command right here. Stretch. And I can set it to make this a little bit smaller. But you gotta make sure your ortho is on because otherwise it will go crooked. So I go back to here ortho or I can press F8. It works both ways. I'm gonna go back, go up 0.5. That looks a little bit better. Maybe. But I still have to do the green piece, which I completely forgot about. Uh, so I'm going to actually dimension this out for myself to see what I need. Okay, 3.75. I'll go up about an inch. So, go D enter 3.75 by 1 inch. Another option to do that rectangle without measuring this out and figuring out the exact dimensions you can go to your rectangle command type in D enter do a line and then you do a thickness so you actually just trace over that distance and that will be the distance of the rectangle and I got one too many so I'll delete one and I'll move this one up here there we go 
got something like that. Now it's kind of a little bit too short, or maybe it's actually perfect. Leave it as it is, but I do need to add those wheels. You can see that the wheels are connected to the center of this wood block, the brown block. So I'm going to do the same thing. That's, as, that's estimated at 0.75. I think that worked perfectly. So my actual thing the radius is 0.75. There we go. I will move it over about an inch. And then I'll copy that over. Or actually, I'll just mirror it. So I select the object, mirror it. And downwards, that's where my mirror is going to be in. And do I want to erase the original? No. So N is for default. So all I have to do is click space, right click, or enter. And I have that. Now, again, I can modify any of these things. If I need to make this taller, I can do that right now. I might just do that just for showing. 0.25. Yeah. Another way to get modified uh, just stretch. You can go up here and stretch. So another way you can even type it in. Basically, I have this is all correct. I didn't draw the chimney because that's going to be a cylinder in the middle. Once I have actual 3D object. To get to the 3D situation. What I like to do is go into an isometric view. I can go up here to view. I'll have to load. You can select a isometric view by clicking this arrow down here for more options. So I can go northeast. Oh, that doesn't look right. I can do that. That's fine. Or I can open up a new tool uh, command bar. Go to view select that and I can just add that in and maybe it next to my dimension tools perfect so I can modify the way I think it works best I think this is the best way of having it so you can actually visually see it and I don't know where I got that circle I can delete that and this picture I can't see any longer so I can just delete that Hopefully I remembered what it looked like. I remember there was two holes in here and this was shattered in and there was a chimney. So basically what I want to do next is I want to start extruding these things out. I'm going to start with the base. Type to EXT, it's short for extrude. Then you go to modify extrude or your solid options here. And you can go extrude. Just like that. Uh, visually, well, I think it should be a little bit wider. 1.5 would work. This also needs to be 1.5. And this, pretty much simple because everything has to be matching. The top cap, I'm gonna make it a little bit bigger. Oops. Undo. So go extrude just like this. Instead of 1.5, I'm going to to 1.75 so I can get an overhang. Right now it's on one side overhang. I have to move it up, so I select it. Move. I have to make sure I go in the Z coordinate. You can see a ortho 0.64 less than positive Z coordinate. And I'm going to go 0.125. So now if I scroll by holding shift and using my scroll button, and you can see that it's pretty, I think it's a good thickness. I just have to figure out how thick the wheel is going to be. So I'm going to extrude. I select both of them, make my life easier. Uh, 0.5 looks like it's the right size. Again, you can change these as you go. I'm going to do a back view. I select these two wheels now. You can see that the top is overextending on both sides, which is perfect. I'm going to mirror these wheels. I'm using the center point of my train. Great, so now I have this. It's perfect. Now I'm going to have to start using fillets. Uh, before I start using fillets, I'm going to change my view my wireframe to a uh, conceptual. 
I like using conceptual because it gives me a good idea how it looks. There we go. Have that. And what I need to do next is start modifying it and establishing some colors possibly and so forth. Uh, I'm gonna stop this one so I can I'll make an additional recording.